Hi, I'm Amy Berrigan. Today, we are going to look at how Kate Spade New York can stand out in a highly competitive retail market. We will discuss a few examples of how the brand can move forward and continue to be successful. But first, before we can know how the brand can move forward, we need to know who we're selling to. So, who is the Kate Spade girl? Now that we have a better idea of who our customer is, we can get a better idea of who our competition is also. Kate Spade New York has its largest competition with the secondary lines of higher-end designer brands. These secondary ready-to-wear lines have high label appeal. Customers know who they are. Paired with the lower than runway price points, they are also sold in moderate and high-end department stores where the merchandise is readily available to customers. Kate Spade styles are conservative and classic in silhouette. Playful graphic prints and bright colors make these designs feel fresh, modern, and inviting. By selling quality merchandise, continuing to build a solid reputation for impeccable customer service, and by offering a clear brand identity, Kate Spade New York holds its own in a very competitive market. Dress price points average around $400. Mark and James by Badgley Mishka. Mark and James is a secondary contemporary line designed by Badgley Mishka. Established in 2009, the line has had good success and has been worn by A-list celebrities, including Taylor Swift and Helen Mirren. Though targeted to a slightly younger audience than Kate Spade, with minor tweaks in styling, the collections have a much broader appeal. The 2012 resort collection in particular features a palette of bright colors and offers many options for layering, making pieces more versatile for everyday wear. The line gives customers high-end styling and fabrication at a moderate price point. Though the draping of this collection is much more flowy and slouchy than what the Kate Spade customer is used to, the collection still has a polished vibe and centers around very vintage silhouettes, which our customer is always looking for in her wardrobe. This line also features a shoe collection with modern cutout detailing and classic profiles. These are shoes women could wear for years without ever feeling outdated. Price points start just over $200 for a dress. Z Spoke by Zach Posen. A relatively new endeavor for New York based designer Zach Posen, Z Spoke is a sportier collection founded on easy to wear separates. The line is younger and slightly edgier than Kate Spade, but, like Mark and James, the pieces are classic enough to offer ver versatility in styling. The fit and flare dress silhouettes and fun classic polka dots in particular will certainly appeal to our customer. The line is sold at fine department stores such as Saks Fifth Avenue and has been seen on many celebrities, including Claire Danes. As this line develops and grows, it has potential to be a strong competitor for Kate Spade. Price points are around $400 for a dress. 
Mark by Mark Jacobs. One of the most competitive parts of the Mark by Mark Jacobs line is the ease of online shopping. The company's own website is convenient for customers to browse and buy product. Bold hues and modern shapes define the line. Many silhouettes in the collection offer wider straps and longer hemlines for the less body-bearing and more professionally oriented 30 to 40 year old age group, including our own style icon, Michelle Obama. Many styles are constructed of fine wovens such as silk rather than knits. Dresses average in the $400 price range. Collection by J. Crew. The better line produced by the famous brand offers high quality fabrication and modern details. The line offers sleek and casual styles mixed with vibrant color stories. J. Crew creative director Jenna Lyons described collection as, quote, a touch more drama, a touch more luxury, and a touch more sophistication, but still totally J. Crew. Unquote. The brand's already solid reputation, coupled with this luxurious sophistication, makes it a front runner in the competition for loyal customers. Classic styles, easy shopping, and returns, and recent positive press remember Michelle Obama and those inaugural gloves make J. Crew Collection appealing to a range of customers, including the Kate Spade customer. Similar to Kate Spade, J. Crew also offers capsule collections from other designers, such as Karen A. Miller, giving more range and quality appeal to their line. Dress price points start around $350. Pieces are only sold through jcrew.com and in J. Crew stores. Diane von Furstenberg Though most well-known for her iconic jersey knit wrap dress, Diane von Furstenberg is not a one-trick pony. Her colors are bold, her prints are graphic, but not overpowering, and her silhouettes are classic and ladylike, and more conservative in length and fit than other competing lines. Like Kate Spade, her more modest silhouettes make her designs easily transition from work to play. She uses rich texture and color blocking to create interesting looks that feel fresh but with a vintage vibe. Her styles are feminine and sophisticated. Her designs are very wearable. Diane von Furstenberg is sold in the brand's own stores as well as Neiman Marcus and other fine department stores. Her target customer is in her late 20s to early 50s. Her price points fit her in the contemporary category with dresses starting at $300, with most around the $400 price point. One way Kate Spade New York continues to stand out among the competition is to offer limited edition designs from other independent and up-and-coming designers. The Fall 2011 collection featured the Iconoclast handbag designed by independent handbag designer Katherine Meyer of Folly. The classic and streamlined body of this pebbled black leather tote makes it perfect for everyday use. The bow detail on the sides makes the bag playful without sacrificing sophistication. The bag is large enough to fit most laptops inside its biggest compartment and could double as a small overnight bag, but only if you pack light. The bag retails for $545 and is available for pre-order until October 30th. The announcement of the upcoming style on the company's Facebook page received overwhelming positive response from Kate fans. This style is sure to be a hit this fall. Another exciting endeavor is the collaboration with the design firm of Australian artist Florence Broadhurst for the Spring 2012 collection. Broadhurst is best known for her bold and luxurious patterned wallpaper designs. In 1959, the entrepreneur began her design business, which quickly grew into an international company. She was an active member of the company she started until her death in 1977 at the age of 78. On October 12th, the Spring 2012 collection was presented to the press as well as loyal Kate fans via the company's blog and Facebook page. The Florence Broadhurst prints are at the center of the collection. The Kate Spade girl is classic and modern. She is fun, sophisticated, and is perhaps the perfect amount of quirky. She has an appreciation for things that are timeless, but she wants to buy them from the convenience of her iPad. In order to grow the line and expand our influence to customers, Kate Spade New York needs to continue to reach customers through social media. We also need to make their online shopping experience easy and hassle-free. 
Independent market research showed that 74% of customers surveyed viewed convenience as being extremely important when making an online purchase. In the same survey, 30% of those in the group found aspects of the Kate Spade New York website that were confusing and hard to navigate. Another opportunity for growth is in the creation of a capsule collection for a mass market through another retailer such as Target or H&M. With Target's recent overwhelming success of the Missoni line at the beginning of September 2011, the strategy has proven to be beneficial to mass retailers and designers alike. The designer shopping frenzy made, at, made national headlines. Product that was planned to last through October in Target stores sold out in a matter of hours. This type of success would help build further brand recognition as well as drive sales of the primary Kate Spade line. Today we've looked at who the Kate Spade New York customer is, what she does, what she likes, where else she shops. We've also looked at how Kate Spade New York can better serve her needs. I'm Amy Berrigan. Thanks.